Hey guys, welcome back to the Mind the Cracker server. Today we're gonna be getting rid of as much sandstone as possible. So I have a ridiculous amount of sandstone, probably more than I will ever be able to use on the lens, at least in the uh, the near term, because of the excavations in the desert that I've been doing, and I've been uh, excavating more so I can expand the village, and the sandstone just keeps piling up faster than I can spend it. So I was thinking what areas around uh, the lens can I work on to use up a lot of sandstone quickly. And I remembered I'd, I had talked about when I originally made this place, I was originally going to uh, update it to reflect the building style of the lens, i.e. sandstone and spruce wood. So I think that's what we're going to work on today to get through a lot of sandstone. Um... So, first thing we're going to need to do is replace the ceiling with sandstone and all the walls with sandstone. The stairs are going to be spruce stairs. Um, and then we're going to start detailing it a little bit. I think uh, the ceiling may get some details or maybe some uh, glowstone lamps hanging down. Something kind of cool. But one problem is it's freaking dark down here. I, I don't want to have to put up with bedrock fog down here anymore. So another thing I want to do is uh, set up um, set up uh, some vertical pillars that go through the ground, um, replace them with glass so that it is bright down here so I can actually see what I'm doing. So I think I'm going to do that first. Let me come over, ignore that portal. Something just landed. There's probably a squid dying. Yeah, there's the ink. So, uh, this box will be good. Um, another thing I'm going to do is set up uh, an ender ascender to get out of the mines, because I still don't have one. I've been using the my ladder for uh, forever. Let's put that in there. And then I have a bunch of spruce, a bunch of sandstone. So I've been doing uh, little little bits of work around the lens, different parts. Trying to uh, finish up different things, different older parts of it, different projects. Did a little work on the melon farm, did a little work on the reed farm. Um, let's see, that's all I need. Oh, okay, so let me get rid of this Bruce as well. One thing we need to figure out is where um, the vertical pillars can go that isn't going to conflict with other stuff. So let's see, um, there's a bunch of chickens and stuff in here. I should probably replace those with snowmen because they don't make any noise and chickens... Yeah, there's one. The chickens do make noise. But let's get... Uh, to get up into that, we need to... We need to come up the ladder and get into the wiring from the top. That's where the access is. That's where I remember putting it. I haven't been in there since I built the thing. Okay, yeah, right over here, this is the entrance, got a little block blocking it, a block blocking it, to keep monsters from wandering in while I was in here. Anything in here? Some chicken eggs, and nothing else. Okay, and an access ladder. So, I guess there's, um, for instance, we couldn't put it, we might be able to do it like right here. But this is probably not going to work. I mean, it might work, but um, it won't work because of the lens above the, the paths and stuff. Um, what I'm really curious about is the bounding box, how many blocks it extends from the hole. Let's see, we've got uh, the wall, then one, two, three, three blocks. And we can probably do the wall right beneath that, right behind that. So from the center, uh, from the water shaft, this is where the water shaft is. One, whoop, uh, we'll count the water shaft as one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we have to go more than ten blocks out. That's easy to remember. More than ten blocks up. Let's go up to the lens and see what spaces uh, we can use there. And where we can um, basically have a vertical 
column of air undisturbed by uh, by the farms or by the central lens sh uh, shaft or by the paths or anything like that. So let's go up to the lens and also show off some of the stuff I've been doing. I've already done, I believe, three videos on the gourd farm and probably three videos on the reed farm. So I wasn't going to do any more actual videos on those unless there was like some major new construction like if I when I add the cactus farm and <laughs> when I finally get around to that uh, uh, um, I'll make a video for that but not for f farms I've already made three videos for I think I've done three for the, the wheat farm as well so uh, I'll just uh, when I update things and finish things off I'll just I'll just walk through them real quick in a video we we'll that right now um, I've I've been uh, trying to work out the gourd farm logic. I, it's been so long since I made it. It's really more complicated than it needs to be, which is kind of silly because I make everything more complicated than it needs to be. Um, I I decided to uh, take out the the uh, the duplicate lights. Originally there were lights that were on and lights that were off, and when you push the button, the pistons extended, uh, pushing off the pumpkins or the melons. Um, these lights would turn off and the other lights would turn on but the thing is from way down here where you where you harvest the thing you can't see any of the lights so it was pointless <laughs> so I've been uh, trying to remember what the hell I was doing and uh, updating the wiring because um, um, you couldn't wire on upside down slabs like do the vertical chain of slabs so I'm trying to make the wiring a little bit more uh, a little bit more efficient. In the reed farm basically all I've done is cover up the wiring for all the pistons. Um, it's still connected to different uh, levers and stuff. It's not it doesn't have one central place to harvest it yet. Um, I guess that's kind of the next step but I haven't gotten around to that yet but it's all covered. It kind of looks cool the detailing of it. I do like the the way it happened and basically what I did was I I tried to uh, use as few blocks as possible to cover the pistons and the and the redstone. So there's stairs and slabs, and um, there shouldn't be anywhere where mobs can spawn on there. It should all be either a slab or a stair, um, unless I missed something. And the the overall effect looks kind of cool. It is a bit too monochromatic in my opinion, so I may revisit it at some point. But uh, it does look kind of neat, just the the sort of the details that emerge just from trying to cover up the redstone. And um, I haven't I haven't done anything over there. And uh, let's see the alchemy. Yeah, I I I've been working on that. Uh, basically, I've just been I duplicated from one side to the other. I still need to get back to that. I'll probably do another video of that when I finish it. Um, but okay, so uh, we know we can go. We have to go at least ten blocks out from the water right down below to uh, get outside of the uh, the chickens and the lights and everything in the the mine shaft hole so that's one block two block three block four block five block six seven eight nine ten so this radius up here is bigger than that so that's okay so we just have to probably just worry about being outside of this cone so probably the best place to figure this out would be at the very top where we can look down and see if things are um, we have an a, uh, an unobstructed view all the way down so for here example what what did I just say here for example my words are coming out in not the order right um, okay so here there's a leaf block there uh, which I think counts as transparent anyway but we can get rid of it but I think I want to give myself a little bit of room for error in case, uh, like this the whole top here is totally unfinished. It's still a construction zone. And I have no idea what to do with it, to be honest, which is why I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, but I want to give myself a little bit of leeway. And then we've got this path interrupting. So we've got between this block, basically, and where it, whenever that path starts. And I'll probably pick somewhere in the middle. 
and then here at the diagonal so the path is here we can't put it there but we could put it like right here and right there would uh, probably work okay another thing to consider though um, so I started looking into the properties of beacons and how much ore I'm gonna require I think I have enough for one pyramid now uh, let's go ahead and look down in my inventory okay so I have a stack of iron blocks and then I've been doing some caving so this right here and up to here is another stack of iron blocks then I have uh, just shy that's like what six stacks so that's two-thirds of a third stack you need a hundred and sixty something for one pyramid and I want to make four uh, I was originally thinking before I looked up how how beacons worked of putting um, possibly putting um, one here, one there, one one there, and one there, and then so I could uh, sort of have the pyramids overlap and not need quite so many iron blocks. And I was gonna put it way down in the mines at the very bottom, so that uh, the beacon would shine all the way up to the top, and I would put glass blocks there so it could shine through. Only problem is I looked up and I had previously thought that beacons the 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 effect was sort of a cone or not a cone a cylinder that uh, radiated out from the beam of light that shot up and so I thought that you could have that effect as high up as you went as you wanted but that's not the case it's actually a cube around the beacon with a radius of 40 blocks so I'm only going to get those effects uh, within 40 blocks of the actual beacon which kind of sucks I was disappointed to hear that because that um, this is I might this is a very vertical house if you didn't notice so uh, I'm gonna have to put the beacons within 40 blocks of the build limit right there um, which is what 256 so around 216 um, my brain my brain yeah just my brain yeah 216 so let's see how far down can we go for that it's probably not gonna feel very far which uh, gives me another decision 216 right here it's only down to here would get us up to there and then it would get us all the way down to 176 which I guess would cover the whole lens um, but if they were like if the beam of light was if we put the beacon I don't even know like right here or right here it wouldn't even I don't think it would extend all the way to the other side of the farm so I'm either gonna need to pick and choose to either have beacons up here or beacons down there in the land area as far as the uh, the the bonus effects goes, or I'm gonna need like a zillion beacons all over the place and more material like iron than I know how to how to harvest. But uh, Doc and Avidya have been making that. What happened here? Doc and Avidya have been making a uh, an iron golem farm. So if that gets up and running, depending on how much iron it actually generates, that may be a possibility. What is going on with this? Why is that should not be extended? Okay, the bottom one works. Uh, but anyway, so what I'm going to do now is um, find, the, find the place for the holes and dig them so that we have light down below. Alright, that's all done. All we have left to do to test that, uh, make sure it all worked, is 
get rid of that and you see how it immediately got brighter uh, if you're wondering why these dirt things are here basically I, I found the coordinates I wanted and I dug straight down and then pillared back up on dirt and then glassed the rest of the way up oh <laughs> damn I knew I was gonna do that need to be more careful uh, by the way <clears throat> in between that last clip and this clip I went away and I recorded another episode of the Mind Crack Network podcast, which is the second podcast of theirs I've been on, and that will be up uh, tomorrow, should be up Monday, sometime in the afternoon, uh, and the channel for that is youtube.com slash mindcracknetwork. Uh, so basically, for the the spots for the the uh, the shafts of glass, I I picked uh, basically one space over or two spaces over from the uh, the uh, the walking paths that come out of every door. So these would be the three three uh, three spaces for the path, and then two spaces over. And those are fairly far away from this. So I'm gonna. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to see how extensive that coverage is. See if that worked exactly how I wanted it to. <clears throat> and I just ate some food, and I'm feeling a little flimmy. <laughs> if you can, hey, do you see that? I did a jump dig. You ever seen that before? Jump dig. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little. <laughs> Like there's something in my throat. It's just I guess my saliva glands are working overtime. Had some roast chicken, some moro rice, some sweet plantains. Uh, but yeah, it seems to be working fine. We're just gonna need I think probably some pillars closer to the center. Okay, so all the pillars have been dug, and they work fine, um, but they don't have much of a radius. They have the same radius as the, uh, whoops, wrong button, as the daylight above. So we're looking at, uh, where is it, BL, I think. No, is that right? Block light? No, we're looking at uh, RL or SL, one or the other. Sunlight and real light or something um, anyway or rendered light I'm not sure exactly which one stands for which but as we get farther away from the source of the sunlight it gets darker so maybe we need uh, a few more of these if it's if that's even possible <clears throat> but anyway I'm gonna worry about that later and I'm gonna start making over um, everything into uh, first thing we're gonna do is make everything over into sandstone and spruce to and then we'll go from there so sandstone and spruce staircases <laughs> uh, do you like the uh, the transition sound effects I just made up I thought they sounded appropriate anyway um, I'm out of time damn I wanted to do more than this we only got uh, whoop the lighting is doing weird things. Um, I was seeing like floor torches flicker in the air a little while ago that was really freaking me out. It was like a haunted house thing. Anyway, I wanted to do more than this. Um, a lot of these walls are gonna be turned to sandstone. A lot of the details in here. Um, I'm gonna put some circular like uh, conic details in the ceiling, glow, uh, glowstone on the floor, all kinds of crazy stuff. But it's gonna have to be another time. I'm trying really hard to get one of these out every other day and uh, the, the podcast did take a big chunk out of my recording time for this uh, for this day but it's gonna be up uh, tomorrow and this is this video is probably gonna be up kind of late at night but um, yeah that podcast is like an uh, hour and a half hour and 45 minutes we went a little long so there you go more content yeah hey um, I will see you guys later take it easy have a good day <laughs>